Hey everybody, it's Steve from Corporate Gone Country. I'm just an ex-corporate guy trying to do country things and sometimes I even get them right. The country thing I'm doing today is changing the batteries on this 2011 Club Car President Golf Cart. I've got six Trojan 8-volt batteries under the seat here and the tools that I've assembled are a battery strap for lifting them in and out, a socket wrench with a 5 8 and a 9 16 socket, pair of gloves and my eye protection and I'll have a pencil and paper uh, to draw the configuration of the batteries uh, as they sit right now so I make sure that when I put the new ones in I got them in the right configuration. So in order to get out the batteries we just lift up the seat and then it's on a couple of hinges it just comes off just like that. Now one of the first things we want to do here is we've got a run and tow switch there right now it's on run I'm going to move it to tow. Then we're going to come right over here and we're going to pull the key out of the switch. So no juice will flow to this compartment as we're working on it. Uh, this is the positive wire here, the main positive wire coming from the electric motor. Um, and it goes to the positive terminal on this battery right here. <clears throat> and then we put a wire from this negative terminal. Uh, over to a positive terminal on the adjacent battery. That's a negative terminal there. Hooked to a positive terminal on the middle battery. That's a negative terminal there to a positive terminal. Negative terminal on the same battery going to another positive terminal on a different battery. Negative terminal to a positive terminal. And this is the main negative that is uh, going back to the electric motor. We've got uh, a blue wire with uh, a yellow terminal here uh, on, the, on this battery that's in the uh, front corner of the compartment and then right here we have a blue wire and another red wire here so we got three wires attached to this main terminal. Uh, we've got a battery clamp right here uh, with, a, with a hold down rod that's a 5 8 deep well socket required to get that off. And then we got another one over here. We'll want to check the conditions of these rods to make sure there's no corrosion or anything like that. And just to make sure I had the configuration etched in my mind, I went ahead and made a sketch as a backup to the video that I put on my phone. So I'll just start with um, unhooking this main cable, this main positive cable, zip tying these together so that I remember to put them back in the same place. Then I'm just going to move from terminal to terminal and taking off the wires. Okay, all the battery cables are off and the nuts are off these uh, clamps right here. I just come over here and you can see I laid out the cables on the garage floor uh, like they go. In the battery bank so when I do put the new batteries in uh, I'll put the same cable in the same spot so I'm ready to lift these out now so I've got the clamp off and I bought this battery strap off of Amazon uh, there's some lugs on the end of these batteries that uh, accommodate the hooks for this battery strap you just put the hooks in the lugs and you will lift the battery out it was only 10 bucks and it was worth the money. Batteries all are all out. That um, battery strap was really a help. Uh, this battery clamp rod, this one looks fine. That one over there has quite a bit of corrosion on it. I'm going to have to replace that. So that's a nasty little surprise. I'll clean this out uh, and I'll get the new batteries and we'll put them back in. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that for a couple of days from now. So um, uh, I'm going to have to put this project on hold. I'm going to have to get that new battery clamp and uh, start this project up again next week. Okay, it's a couple days later. I got a call from the parts supplier that the new batteries are in. I loaded the old ones in the uh, 
vehicle here and I've got a little bit of a plastic garbage bag just underneath it. I also got these WeatherTech mats in case there's any leakage, but ready to go and trade these in. And after a nice little round trip, I'm back. I got six brand new T875s. I'm ready to put the new batteries in, just replacement in kind. I did order a couple of battery clamps off of Amazon. I think these were like $17 for the two of them. So I have my diagram right down here on the floor that I can look at. And I'm just going to place all the batteries in there to begin with. And then... Um, clamp them down and then hook up the wires. Now I decided to use Trojan batteries again. I could have bought uh, batteries at Costco. They were quite a bit less expensive, but I went on trojanbattery.com. I found a local supplier for Trojan batteries. I do think they're better batteries than the one that you get at Costco. I'm not sure that they're worth the price difference, but I've had Trojan batteries uh, in the past. They la lasted five years for the first set and five years for the second set. So I'm looking to get another five years out of this set. Yes, they're more expensive. I did find a good price on trojanbattery.com. Uh, I decided to pay the extra money for the confidence in this battery brand. And um, hopefully it'll last me another five years. Now I'm gonna see if I can not hook up this clamp I've got these batteries spaced to where I can see the bar down there in the bottom where that hook end goes over. And I'm able to hook it in there pretty good. And then I can take this clamp here and hopefully put it over it. See if I can't get my hand under here. You just have to stick your hand underneath there and prop that bar up, that clamp up, and then get that washer and the nut on there. Okay, those three are clamped in there well. I'll do the other one over there. Okay, so both of these clamps are in, holding down all six batteries. Now I think it's time to wire the batteries up, and if you recall, I laid out my cables such that I knew which cable goes where. Now I brushed off these cables with a wire brush. Uh, they look like they're fine. So I don't have any problem reusing them. The batteries that I bought came with nuts on them. I'd actually saved the nuts off the old batteries. Just it's right on there. And then uh, I really don't have to do any finagling. Got these brand new nuts here. I'll put those on. And I'll repeat that for uh, all the other cables that I have laying over there on the floor. And I have this uh, 9 16 socket. And I can just give those terminals a nice little snug twist. I'm good to go. Okay, all the cables are reattached, including the main positive coming from the motor and the main negative. And if you recall, I put that switch on tow. It's not on run, so there is, <clears throat> that circuit is uh, not complete. And also, I don't have the key in the switch over here. So, so I'm going to flick this switch right here. And I got my safety glasses on. And, of course, I didn't expect anything to happen. Uh, by the way, I checked the water level in these batteries before I put them in. And it was pretty good. It needed a little bit in a couple of them. But uh, we're good. Now we'll switch this on. 
and my battery meter showing full charge. So I'm going to put this on the charger anyway. That's uh, what was recommended that I do before I go out and use the cart, charge it all the way up per the battery charger. A diagram came in very helpful along with the video that I shot uh, in terms of the existing configuration. So I think this thing is done. So here we go. Got a full charge down there. smell any smoke. I think we're doing all right. You know, watch that car right there. So I think this has been a successful battery change. Thanks for watching today's episode of Corporate Gone Country. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate your viewership and hope to see you on a future video. Bye now.